Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about how to mount a large format lens onto a lens board. This is a, an important thing to do because one, you can't use your large format lens unless it's on a lens board. And if you have, if you're switching systems or something like that, you theoretically should know how to do that. But if you're just getting your first large format camera and you want to know how to put the lens onto the lens board, this is going to show you how to do it. Here's what you're going to need. The front and rear cells of the lens you've purchased. Let's set those there. A shutter that works and that will work with your front and rear cells. They, not all front and rear cells are designed for all shutters. In fact, none of them are. They're designed to work with a certain shutter size. If this, this is a Copal number one shutter, which this lens will work in perfectly. But if this were designed for a Copal number zero, you'd have to get a zero to one adapter ring to go in here, which I've seen a couple of for zero, zero to zero. So I would assume that there are adapter rings for other sizes as well. Uh, your complete shutter is this assembly here and a retaining ring like this. If you do not have this retaining ring, you will not be able to get your shutter onto your lens board. Um, some shutter sizes will allow you to use step up and step down rings as retaining rings, but in general you will have to get a retaining ring sized for your shutter number. This is a Copal number one if you don't have it. And they're not always cheap because they are mandatory for using your shutter. The other thing that you're going to need is this guy right here, which is a spanner wrench. And the spanner wrench works by expanding so that you can put the wrench in these slots in the retaining ring like this. There are four slots on this retaining ring and you will need the spanner wrench to be able to effectively tighten it once we have it mounted onto the lens board. We're going to do this mounting without the lens cells attached because it's safer for them. And we're going to put the lens shutter right here on the board and we're going to roughly center it here because this opening is slightly larger than it should be for this shutter. We're going to finger tighten the retaining ring. Try not to. This, this lens board doesn't matter. Orientation on this lens board doesn't matter. It's perfectly square. But if you had something like a Technica or a Cambo lens board you were mounting it on, they are not the same on each side. So you would have to make sure that you've oriented your shutter correctly. And what you want is you want the arming mechanism on top. You want the preview lever on the left when you hold it in front of you like this, the right when you face the lens. So we're almost finger tight. Here we go. Now that we're finger tight, we're going to grab our spanner wrench and we're going to lock it into the grooves on the retaining ring. I'm going to hold the shutter while I do this, not the board. And I'm going to, oh, I'm going to hold the board too because it wants to spin. I'm going to turn this until I've got a good amount of pressure on that. You do not want to have a situation where this retaining ring comes loose in the field. It's not likely that your lens will fall off, but it could shake around and either create a light leak if there's play like there is in this board, or cause image shake if the lens is not mounted securely and snugly on the lens board. Okay? So here's our, our shutter mounted on our anniversary graphic lens board. We're going to check to make sure that the aperture moves smoothly and it does because the aperture mechanism is on the back of the shutter. So if this is too tight, the aperture mechanism won't move easily. Next thing we're going to do is take the front cell and I'm going to hold the cell and spin the lens board because that's a little bit easier to do and a little bit safer. I don't like letting go of lens cells if I don't have to. Put the lens cap on this guy. And now we're going to do something that's fairly similar here. Put the lens cap on. And we now have this lens with this amazing lens hood as well. Look at that. Look at that. That is fantastic. Anyway, we now have this lens ready to go to be mounted on 
an anniversary graphic or whatever lens board you so choose. One thing to bear in mind is that if you are shooting Horseman lenses or any other type of lens board that has the flash PC port protruding through the lens board, this technique will not work. It's a little bit different if you have the PC port on the lens board. And uh, if I ever get my hands on a Horseman lens, I'll show you how to do that in the future. Um, so this applies to things like Cambo, Anniversary Graphic, Calumet, thing, and other types of lens boards that are just a basic board with a fully, uh, with a complete shutter built into itself mounted on that board. All right, so that is how you mount a lens onto a standard lens board for large format photography. Whether you're shooting four by five, five by seven, or eight by 10, the general process is the same. So if this video was helpful, please leave me a thumbs up. That lets me know I'm on the right track and that I'm producing content which is useful and helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave those below. I'd be more than happy to answer and I respond fairly quickly to your questions and comments. If you have suggestions or ideas for future videos, please leave those below as well. I'd be more than happy to address those. And one last thing, thank you everyone very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.